Hi, Lucy here. Um, I'm really excited today because I think that this tip is going to help you guys save uh, a lot of money, hundreds of dollars. So here's what happened. When, if your motor sounds like this, excuse me. Okay, hopefully you heard that. And then, and then the, sometimes the breaker will shut off. About eight out of 10 times, um, what it is is the capacitor is bad. So here's what, what you wanna do. First of all, shut your breaker off. And what you want to do is, um, is you want to like disengage the charge. So you put your screwdriver across both of, of the, the electrical things, okay? Terminals. <laughs> All right, so we did that. And then you pull this off. Now, what I do, um, I have a bunch of them with me uh, because this is a very common problem and what you want to do is you want to look at the numbers on here that they match I don't know if I can get this or not um, it has a 50 and you know what I don't know the term it's not bolts it's something but anyway it's gonna try to try to match them up just get your new one possibly um, and you see how easy it is to do so you know a lot of people think that their motors are shot or, or you know they have to get a whole new motor which has got hundreds of dollars and eight out of ten times it's the capacitor so um, anyway I I'm really excited to uh, that this one went bad and um, I could show you because uh, you know I'm here to help you save money all right Anyway, um, come back and visit me on my website and look at more tips. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you next time.